old school philosophers talked about the discord of the mountains because it was where the world got mashed together. Wind and rain erodes and smooths everything down. It's a really cool analogy for people. We do the exact same thing. We sort of are one thing and then we are refined over all the course of time into something else. We make it just barely past that gate. Another throw ride from Miller to the finish line. Cody Miller into first place. I refuse to let skiing be lumped into that category of things I do because I have to do them. I just wanted to go bigger and bigger, like more airtime. When I'm up on the mountains, I just feel really a sense of natural harmony, like I feel really relaxed. Golden Miller. If I'm positive and happy about where I'm at, I'll be going. You know, when I have my foot on the gas, the potential is, is certainly there. It's just a matter of if I can get to the finish. I'm older now and I definitely have the right skills. I mean, it's all in line. Tim, he didn't react with fear, he reacted with patience. I really dedicated my life to the sport and the innovation of, of equipment and you know trying to push things forward and I've taken a lot of pride over the years in being the most well-conditioned athlete on World Cup. To know that I've done more work than everyone else and that I'm better prepared, I think that's where a lot of my confidence comes from. The medal I don't think is so important for me. It's great. I mean there's something about the Olympics and getting a medal at the Olympics and the award ceremonies and all that, but at the end of the day I think it's about the athletes trying to inspire each other and trying to inspire kids and if you can kind of let the other stuff go and focus on just having those inspirational performances, that's a, that's a success. My memories of ski racing are, are so many, you can't even really begin to talk about them. Races are funny that way that, you know, it's always about where you're at at that time. So when I was 13 years old, sometimes I was doing things I'd never done before. You know, I was constantly excited and fired up and inspired by all the, the potential I had upwards. Whereas now I don't really feel like I have that much more potential upwards, which is a little bit, um, you know, tough to deal with. That's pretty good. My name's Chalone Miller. I'm a professional snowboarder. All of us started on skis. You know, as soon as we could walk, we were put on skis. And, and I skied until I was like nine. And then uh, that's right around when snowboarding was becoming the cool thing to do. And I just immediately fell in love with it. and was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a snowboarder. I jumped on a trampoline a lot when I was younger and like would always be doing flips, so I was always jumping off of porches and roofs. I like being in the air and that feeling you get when you're upside down. I just wanted to go bigger and bigger, like more air time. I'm always looking for the bigger jump that I can hit. You feel like you're flying for that much longer. I think what I like most about snowboarding is just your freedom to be able to express like whatever you're feeling. Like everyone has their own unique style. I sort of always saw the potential of snowboarding and sort of like that always just sort of been seen in the future. You could see these double forks and see all this stuff happening before it happened. It all just makes sense. And it's still not it's not over and so it's gonna go further. I wouldn't say I'm an adrenaline junkie, but I do enjoy releasing adrenaline I guess. It's not like that's all I live for but I do love sending it.